Yo, what up, y'all? This your boy Food Junkie coming at you. What the hell is this? Oh, coming at you with a um little video. Just want to say what's up to you guys on my way to work. Of course, you know how we do it. Y'all keep me company, and hopefully, I keep y'all entertained. And you know, on my way to work, we are liable to talk about anything and everything, anyone and everyone. Y'all, y'all like my little beanie I got on, my little hat, my little coordinated scarf. Looking like a caramel color, caramel coated snowman. A thin one, of course. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? The one with the body, of course. I'm just saying. Y'all. Now, y'all know I don't do this. And y'all read the title. What the fuck are you doing, dummy? Y'all know I don't do this, was not. And y'all read the title. <laughs> Baby, baby. <laughs> I said it all teeth. Baby, baby. All toothlessness and things. All of our toothlessness. Yeah, white teeth, pink gums. Healthy smile. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Mr. Sean Bradley, you know I don't do this. You know I don't like mentioning your name in my videos. Because, of course, people think that I'll be a flunky when I do that. I got to give you props when props are due. You got people changing their whole way of doing things. You got people changing the whole way how they coordinate things. Jesus be a party planner, baby. Jesus be a party planner. I'm getting ready for work, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Good listen to stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when I get ready for work, I just let things flow as they flow, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Things play as they play. And I hear this voice. Well, daughter... This is for Miss Olivia. This is for this person. 1872 house. I've been around the world in my 20s. I'm like, okay, Lord Jesus. I was getting ready to turn, you know what I'm saying? Then I, you know what? Oh, let me, I'm, not, I'm just getting for it. Let me get my stuff together. What's not? Let me do this. What's not? Then I hear, well, since I'm online, let's talk about the Labor Day situation for 2020. I'm like, okay, this would be cute. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what um, professional baker they have this time that's gonna um you know provide the pastries or will it be walmart or sam's club again i'm just asking just wondering then i hear well if you pay 75 dollars by the end of um 2019 that's the registration fee you'll be in but if you pay after in 2020 it's gonna be 125 i'm like hold on that sounds familiar that sounds familiar. And what happened to the forty dollar registration fee? You think that you're gonna provide double the pleasure and double the fun by doubling the price, tripling the price? Oh my God! Y'all need to understand. <laughs> These people are freaking ridiculous. These people are delusional at its best and just damn crazy at its worst. <laughs> like you talking about? You want people to just pay money to register when you're not giving them any type of details of what's going on whatsoever, where it's going to be. And in San Antonio, I'm not going to pay $75 to go to San Antonio. Nothing against San Antonio, period. Nothing against Texas. I like Texas. I've been to Texas several times. Been to Austin, been to Dallas, been to Houston. Even been to San Antonio a couple times. They have some great fabric um, places and design places in um, the whole Texas area. Really good. You know, if you like turquoise and things like that. But... I could have sworn you had a problem with people paying more than $40 for an event out of town. Why would I pay $75 or 125 if I pay after um, 2019 to something that is in San Antonio? What is that to do? What activities are you going to do? What have you shown me based on this time that would be make me worth wanting to buy something or come see something next time. I saw styrofoam plates. I saw fish plates in someone's basement. I saw you and your crew all online all the time talking about everyone else was not. Why would I pay for that? To be around you, Juicy Booty? <laughs> no. I told you. I don't fuck fat people. 
so what point will it be for me to even come there Sean you got these people shook Club Jack got these people shook these people are shooketh as they say shooketh as they say <laughs> yeah what's going on why are you copying often imitated never duplicated <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that cracked me up I'm like this sounds so familiar so you talk about someone who's successful in what they're doing pretty much trying to discourage but yet then you emulate it what am I getting for $125 if I pay in 2020 and my own styrofoam plates and cups that cost a dollar each at the dollar store. So that's two dollars. I got my own fish plate. I can find my own fish plate up. That is what? Seven dollars at the most. So that's nine dollars we up to. I can do my own slop of beans, rice, and and portion out, carefully portion out sausage and chicken. Let's say that's another ten dollars. So that's we're up to nineteen dollars. Well, it's not. An inspirational word from you. Shit, you're not inspirational. What would, I want to, what would I want to aspire to be? Listen to you. Fat? Lazy as hell? A weak ass bully? What will I aspire? What can you aspire? What can you say? What can you possibly say? What have you possibly said to inspire me to want to listen to you? What inspirational words can this time, this guest speaker can say to help me aspire to who they are? What do you have that I can't already well, that I don't have for one, someone like me, that I can't acquire. <laughs> to hang out with you? You don't look like fun. You don't look like fun at all. You don't look like someone I want to hang out with. Sorry. Nothing about you said, ooh, come hang out with me. I'm cool. I'm fine. Nothing about you says that. You be monster how much I cuss. You be how much I drink. You know what I'm saying? What is fun about that? If I'm on vacation, I want to cuss as much as I want to, drink as much as I want to, fuck as much as I want to, and not you. <laughs> Preferably my husband, most likely my husband. But my point is, I'm not going to be worrying about who's watching me, who's going to try to um, give me a scripture when I'm on vacation. I don't, want to, I don't care what Moses said. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care what Job said. I don't care. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I'm just saying. It is so sad that people like to talk about what's going on, what other people are doing, but yet in the blink of an eye, they're copying the same business model as that individual. Don't do it, baby. Make it make sense. You are copying the exact same business model. Pay early for a discount, pay later, get charged a little bit more. Now, what's your reasoning? What's your reasoning? Please don't use the same words that Sean used. <laughs> Please don't use the same words that Sean used. No one got to sell popcorn or the other. But what are they going to sell? They're sold because guess what? What, is it, what are you offering them? We saw what was offered in 2019 in Vegas. That's why people are willing. We saw the evidence of people having fun, people having this camaraderie with, with, uh, with, with each other. If just that alone... There was, oh, hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot to say this. They also mentioned there will be a hospitality suite. If there's a hospitality suite, you can use it anytime you want. What is it going to be full, full, full with? Juice boxes? Cup of noodles? Sandwiches? What is it going to be filled with? What is your hospitality suite going to be filled with? Fresh baked bakeries? Or, sorry, fresh baked pastries from Walmart? <laughs> Baby, what am I paying for $75 for? What am I paying $75 for? Well, now you have a host hotel down too? <laughs> what 
What happened to the basement? What happened to your home? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you are hilarious, yo. Like, oh my God. You are, it's funny. Cause I'm laughing because it's sad. Like, <laughs> I knew when I named you one of my sad clowns that you were sad. You are ridiculous. You talked all this mess, all this crap about, you know, what's going on in Vegas and how much things going to cost and how much things cost and why things cost so much, what's not. But look at you. You could, you said that he doubled his price of his event, was not. You did the same thing. Actually, you damn near tripled your price if you pay after um, the end of this year. And why would you hurt your people so much to only limit that early um, deposit thing down to the end of this year? This is the holiday season. Money is short for people, was not. Why would you not care enough to think that, okay, this is holiday time. Thanksgiving is around the corner. Christmas is around the corner. Not. These people have families. These people have other things going on with that. They maybe possible, possibly can't afford to put down a deposit. And that is a deposit, a registration fee, was not. What's the full total cost of this situation that you plan on having? See, being part of Club Chat, and just being an inquisitive person, and also being part of WGQs, we got questions. These are all the things that we think about. These are all the things that we, that I think about, that I thought about when, once, once I heard that little bit of information was not. Because it wasn't enough for me to really make a decision. Why well, don't get back to some of the things I just said. Well, let's do, harp on this right quick for a moment. Let's harp on the fact that this is the holiday season. So you're telling people that support you, mind you, that have backed you, that have done things for you who have supported you and helped you pay your mortgage for the past year or so I don't care about your family or you enough to at least extend that deadline let's say March because it still gives you what that's the third month it still gives you six months to collect $150 $125 from people was not but you didn't say okay well I know this is the holiday season was not this is the holiday time so I will you know I'm saying extend this for a couple of months. I will extend this $75 registration fee or deposit fee, whatever you want to call it, well, it's not this fee, to at least March. That still gives me, or the end of February, at least that gives me, you know what I'm saying, six months to collect $125 if you pay then. But it gives you a couple of months to get your money back right after the holiday season. Y'all be careful of these snake oil salesmen. Be careful of these snake oil salesmen. He's a businessman. It's all about a coin. He said that to y'all. He told y'all he's a businessman and he's all about a coin. I'm just saying. Y'all think critically. Think logically. He showed y'all what y'all got in 2019. And the funny thing about it is that everyone that was part of 2019 is part of the community now for 2020. <laughs> funny thing is, that sounds familiar as well. Hold up. Who did that? Hey, Miss D. How you doing, baby? You inspiring the children, baby girl. My lotus flower, my queen mother. Or as they call her, Mother Earth. You are inspiring the children, baby. <laughs> Miss D, you inspired him. Remember how you said at, at your retreat, the nine ladies that um was um you know part of your successful, fun, spiritual event. All of them can help you uh, plan your next event next year. He's copying you now too. Y'all see how club chat and people in club chat are inspiring the children. Are y'all gonna have masks too? Are y'all gonna make masks like me as well? Not like me, but are y'all gonna try to make masks as well? <laughs> are y'all gonna have questions like Miss Deanna too? Like, I mean, are y'all gonna have strawberries like Miss Leo? Sorry, like Leo the Linus Queen? Are y'all gonna have Tiny Primetime on TV? Do y'all desserts as well for you? Because she's actually a professional chef, award winning baker. She won, she just won the contest. I'm just saying, are we going to do that? That's what we're doing. Y'all just copying everything that Club Chat does. I told, like, it was told 
that y'all are so inspired by us. Y'all are inspired by what we do, who we are, and how we live. You know, copied and took the um, concept of having early registration and deposits down, and past a certain date, things go up. But the difference is you're charging your people three times as much as you charge them to begin with. And are you going to offer them three times as much? Activities, festivities, so, uh, actually agendas that they know what they're paying for. Are you? Are you going to show them something besides what they saw this Labor Day? Slop on a plate out of a basement church. You know, if it's, if it's the Lord. Bless me. You know how I do it. Nothing personal to old Jesus. You know that. You know I love you, baby. But you don't offer them slop out of a basement church, a fish plate on styrofoam plates, a crackhead speaker talking about the Bible. This is a spiritual retreat. What is going on? <laughs> Oh, this is a money graph for you, which is fine by me. But tell the people what they're going to get for double and triple the money. What are people going to get for double and triple the money? Since y'all are so worried about what was going on in Vegas and what we're going to get in Vegas was not, which is none of your business, let me be nosy. What are you going to get? And are you going to pay Sean and Ms. D for the ideas that you stole from them? Are you? Are you going to pay Sean and Ms. D for the ideals that you have verbally stolen from them? Sean's idea and concept is pay half now, get a discount. Pay or, or, or start your payment now, get a discount. Pass a certain day, you're going to get charged a little bit more. Your concept is <laughs> pay early, get a discount. Pay later, charge more. Three times as much as, as the original trip would ever cost. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you where we're going to be. I ain't going to tell you what you're going to get. Not just yet. But I want your money right now, though. Snake oil salesman. <laughs> this fire water is going to help you. This fire water is going to save you. Where's my fire water at? This fire water is going to save you. This is hill of fire water, y'all. It cures everything. Just give me your money. What's in it? What's in it? It's fire water, y'all. Give me your money, y'all. It's fire water, y'all. Give me your money. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Man, you funny. <laughs> You're funny. And Ms. D's concept, she said it. She said everyone that was at this first initial event that she had, which was really successful and looked like it was fun and just a bunch of beautiful camaraderie happening was not, I would like y'all to help me plan my second. Now here you go. Now so and so, so and so, get into the Vivian Jennings because everyone that was part of my first uh, Labor Day event, y'all are part of the community now. How about that when you're on that goddamn committee? You just can't force people to do certain things. <laughs> well, you probably could because people that does it for you, or I guess, I don't know. I can't judge them, but I'm just saying, you know, no one can force me to do anything I don't want to do. If I don't want to be part of a committee for some random shindig, well, it's not. You can't force me to be part of that, and then, and then to take part of, you know what I'm saying, trying to promote it as well. Because if they're part of the committee, they have to be part of supporting it as well. Or it won't be successful. But it, it wasn't successful, I'm just saying. <laughs> it is so funny how you talk so much stuff. And every time you speak, you show someone like me how weak you actually are. Everybody called you a whore yesterday. You are a whore. You proved it today. Oh, Wally's dad is fine. I would have um, brought him down here. Which means that you was paid. Like I said, you a whore. You a whore for money. You will do anything for money. And you don't mind paying for dick. You prove me right every time you open up your mouth. <laughs> like I said, you will never, ever 
Never, ever, 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 ever be able to compete with someone like me on an intellectual level and on any level, period. Because I hear what you say. And you mentioned Miss Olivia the Oracle. And you're right. She is very wise. Because like she said, what I always say is, I look behind your eyes. I see what you don't want to show me. And when I look behind those basset down, those, those, those basset hound dog eyes that you have with the huge bags under or was not, I see weakness. I see insecurity. I see people, someone who has been abandoned, who has been rejected, who has been neglected and defected their entire life. <laughs> That's what someone like me can laugh at you with confidence, with security, knowing that what I'm saying about you is true. Not only do I see it now, but you're going to reveal it to me sooner rather than later anyway. Y'all called you a whore yesterday. Today you prove that you're a whore, that you pay for dick. Because you said you, will, or you would have brought Wally's dad down there to fuck him instead of Wally because his dad was fine. Something a whore will say. <laughs> Something that a whore will do. Something that someone that was desperate and dejected and rejected and there have been felt feelings of abandonment and self-loathing would do. I knew I was right. <laughs> like I said, stop it. You probably wonder, oh, why are you messing with him now? Because he fucked with me first. And I'm still, all I'm doing is repeating what you said, talking about what you've done. You said, well, you copied Sean's uh, business model for his event. You copied Miss D's business model for planning her next event. You said you would fly Wally, that you would brought Wally's dad down there was not because he was fine. I'm just saying. Tell me when I lie. Tell me when I make it up. Tell me when I'm doxxed. See, I don't need to dox people. I don't need to look up stuff from people was not. You give me all the ammunition that I need in order for me to talk about you, in order for me to roast and gag you, in order for me to talk, to, to um, drag your ass across these YouTube streets by your goddamn nappy taco meat on your chest. You give me all of that. And how do I know you have nappy taco meat on your chest? You thought you was cute showing pictures with you without a shirt on when you were slightly smaller. <laughs> like I said, young man, or so I say fat boy, <laughs> stop it. Keep my name out your mouth. Stop starting shit. And be mindful about what you say and do. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just saying. Be very, very careful about who you choose to poke and pick at. I told you. I told all of you. I don't get bullied. Don't let the fact that I make beautiful things and that I'm a nice person be the reason why you get under this false sense of security and get your feelings hurt. I'm almost out of work, y'all. Let me let you guys go. It's been about a good 20 minutes or so. Enough work for today before I go to actually go to work. <laughs> but yeah. Y'all, think about it. I may put your name in this video, Sean and Miss D. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. <laughs> The title will be catchy. I know that much. But yeah. Y'all, keep aspiring to children, club chat. Keep aspiring to hater, haters to be their best selves. Keep inspiring the people to do what we do. Y'all have a great day. And as I always say, love yourself. Love someone else. Respect yourself. And definitely... <clears throat> Respect someone else. Y'all have a great day. Be safe. I love you. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the respectful conversation and commentary. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Y'all have a great evening. And until next time, this is your boy, Food Junkie. And I'm out. <laughs> Dumbass Jay Wilson. <laughs>